Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a quick video today to talk about the durability of the graphic on the sole and studs of the new Hypervenom Phantom 2 from Nike. For those that don't know, the graphic printed on the bottom, this black shattered pattern, will actually wear off over time. Nike includes a tag inside the box that you probably already know about that lets you know that this graphic will wear away. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the pair of Hypervenom Phantom 2s that I have 20 plus hours of wear time on so we can see exactly how much of this pattern has actually worn off. We're going to be comparing it to a brand new pair and you guys are just going to get to see the durability of this pattern in general. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So when you buy a pair of Hypervenom Phantom 2s inside the box attached directly to one of the shoes, you're going to find this tag right here, which reads this. The graphic aesthetic on the bottom of this shoe will wear off during play, but will not affect the performance of this product. And you can see there's a little graphic here where the graphic is fully intact on the sole plate as well as on the studs. And then as you wear them, the graphic starts to wear away. Now what I have right here is a pair of Hypervenom Phantom 2s I've been wearing for an entire month. I have 20 plus hours of use on this particular pair. And we're gonna see how the sole has actually worn. Now to give you guys a reference point, here's a brand new pair of Hypervenom Phantom 2s, never worn, never even tried on. You can see this is what the sole looks like out of the box. The graphic is um, a darker black color and you can see the graphic is printed directly on top of the sole plate as well as on the studs. And the reason why it actually wears away is because there's no protective layer for the actual paint that, like I said, is directly on top of the actual sole plate and studs. Now, after 20 hours of use, I think you'll be pretty surprised to find out that the graphic has remained intact really, really well. Based on how it feels and how it looks from right out of the box, I expected that graphic to wear away extremely quickly, but as you guys can see, that has not been the case. I've been really, really impressed with the durability of the graphic. Again, it has nothing to do with performance. Um, it's just something that looks pretty cool um, when the shoe is brand new, and you can see 20 hours down the line it still looks relatively the same not a lot of the graphic has worn off and i'll give you guys a side by side comparison here's the used shoe 20 hours plus here's the new shoe um, obviously the graphics are not printed exactly the same on all the shoes they're completely random which is kind of cool uh, but again the graphic has remained intact it's not quite the same dark black that you're going to find when they are brand new and the sole plate for the most part is not quite as shiny um, but that's going to be the case with any shoe um, and again i'm just impressed with how the graphic has held up you can see even on the bottom of the studs that's where you are going to see the most amount of wear as far as the graphic kind of chipping away um, but as long as you stay away from walking on concrete or any kind of really abrasive surface which i have not done in these particular shoes, you're gonna find that the graphic will stay intact really, really nicely. Now I have 20 plus hours of use all on natural grass player uh, fields uh, that vary from firm to slightly softer and even a little bit harder. And again, this has been my experience. Your experience may differ, but I thought I would make this video, got a video to share um, what my experience has been with the graphic wearing away because I've been getting a lot of questions about it. So hopefully this video does help you out. If you have any further questions, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll be happy to get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. If you guys are interested in more content on the new Hypervenom Phantom 2, you can check out the full written review on my website. That'll be the first link down below in the description of this video. You can also check out my playtest video and review video, which I'll leave annotations to on screen. So so again, be sure to check out those extra sources of information if you are looking for more info on the Hypervenom Phantom 2. If you aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.